Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Project Zomboid. As always, I'm your host, Duper Nick, and uh, I've got to be honest, I'm kind of going into this game a little bit blind. I've only played a little bit to get a hang of some of the controls. Uh, I couldn't do it with a keyboard, so excuse those uh, uh, Xbox uh, gamepad buttons you're seeing in the corners. Uh, I've already kind of went through this house just to spare the boredom of me looking around for items or whatever. Uh, I've got some food here, so we're going to call this a good home base. Uh, if you don't know what Project Zomboid is, I'll explain that as I run in fear of the living dead that are walking around. I think I actually left in on normal zombies, so this might be a bit of a quick run, because they're probably going to kill me as I'm ill-prepared. I was spawned in without a weapon. Um, this is survival mode. Okay, we've already got... Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive that... This might be a very quick run if I can't survive the first zombie that comes after me. Um, without a weapon, all I've really got is a shove option. Oh, give me something. I'll take a kitchen knife. And there we go. I am at least moderately prepared to face the living dead now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it was uh, right outside the door. Are you going to just stand there? Okay. I can, I can deal with you. Oh, maybe not. Uh, it's a very short range on this weapon. Oh, wow. That was easy. Okay. I'll take that, uh, easy kill. <laughs> okay, so that zombie had nothing. Most zombies don't. It's really pretty much a waste of time to loot zombies at all. Um, rocking a kitchen knife is probably the worst weapon I've ever had to use, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Um, <laughs> Uh, like I was saying, if you don't know what Project Zomboid is, it's in uh, early access on Steam. It is a zombie apocalypse simulator game. Um, and I mean that in the best possible way because I love this game. Uh, I played it a little while ago, but it was a bit of an unstable release, so I kind of left it for a while and came back to it today uh, for you guys because I thought maybe you'd like to know about this game. Um, because it is worth mentioning, it is going to be a very uh, nice... Uh, release when it finally gets completely finished um, okay I was afraid there'd be a zombie in here um, cigarettes I don't want to carry cigarettes uh, this is a game where you really have to oh, I'm already thirsty great uh, <laughs> this is a game where you have to constantly manage inventory um, it's very easy to become over encumbered Make sure that there's no zombies around here. I'm going to run back to my place and see if I can't get something to drink. As you can see in the upper status, I have a little... Or in the upper corner, I've got a little status symbol that means... I'm thirsty. Feed or make me drink water or I will probably die. So we're going to take a nice little swig from the sink here. I have no idea how long until the water runs out, but it will happen eventually. The water goes out and the electricity. So we have to be... I'd like to say careful, but really it's just a matter of preparing. Chocolate, I'll eat some. Yeah, I'll eat that. And I'll eat these chips too. Just to um, keep me from having to look for food constantly while I'm out trying to show you guys the game world. Uh, the two maps that are on there right now, and I do believe there's support for custom maps made by the community, are uh, Muldra and West Point, Kentucky, I think. Which is funny, because that's where I'm from. Oh gosh, we got another walker. Uh, oh gosh this is a terrible weapon my goodness okay goodness is oh you're not dead oh I will stab you to the end of time are you dead okay it's not letting me do like a little death animation so I think we're okay <laughs> I really like to find a baseball bat or something you think in Kentucky there'd be a shotgun laying around somewhere? Okay. <laughs> Sneak up on this guy. Uh, I didn't really want this to be a review video so much as I wanted this to be sort of a good let's play. I think this game is really promising. Um, that and, well, I'd love to review the game. I feel like I don't know enough about it to completely critique it right now because it is such a big game and it kinda takes a while to do anything meaningful uh, crafting your own not crafting that makes it sound minecrafty oh did the knife I had break oh great oh I've got no defense 
I've got no defense. Oh, please don't let there be a zombie in here. Great, it's locked. Okay. So we've got a, a zombie on our... Oh, we're going to have a few zombies on our tail. We're in trouble here. <laughs> um. Oh, how close. Okay, they're a little bit away from me. but I'm not going to be able to last long if I can't find a baseball bat or a fire axe or something. Oof. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer till we find one. This brick house looks promising. Uh, I'm exhausted. Okay, I'll take it easy. Uh, sometimes a character decides he'd rather be lazy and walk when being chased by the undead as opposed to keeping up his pace and not dying immediately. It looks like a medical building. I actually haven't seen this one yet. So the door is locked, and we're going to try and open the window. And it might take a little bit, but uh, supposedly all windows can be open. It just takes... Okay, there we go. So that worked. And we're going to... Oh, I closed it. <laughs> okay, I'm about to say if it locked it again, that wouldn't make much sense. So, okay, there's blood on the floor. That makes me a bit nervous about this place. Because, again, I don't have any weapons. I'm going to go upstairs first, see what I can find. Hopefully there's nothing waiting for me. Okay, this is just a closed door. Any activity in here? This game makes me nervous for all the right reasons. It's not jump scary. It's just a good... You feel alone. There will be other survivors in the game eventually, but for the meantime, I am on my own as I... Ooh, a water bottle. That's actually a really good thing. Uh, we'll grab it, and when you have a water bottle or like a glass of drink in your inventory. Whenever you get thirsty, it will automatically do that for you. So that's that's nice. Any I could really use a baseball bat. Something game. Come on. This game can be pretty unforgiving when it decides what it wants to give you. Did I hear? I thought I heard something. This place is pretty nice. Okay. Still very nervous about it. Oh, I didn't check this door. Oh, gosh. I knew it. I knew this place was too good to be true. I don't have anything. Oh, can I? Okay, yeah. Just stomp it to death. Oh, there's another one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, boots of death. Who needs a baseball bat? You got big old stompers like these. Now, maybe the game will reward me for that very manly killing of people that, or er, I guess they're not people anymore. They are undead uh, with maybe some weapons uh, no <laughs> and I can't do anything with the TV at least the electric still on there's always there's always a bright side people and now that I know that I can kill people without a weapon I'm not as nervous interact with one. Oh no no I don't want to sleep just did you just ask me if I want to sleep on a counter don't want to go to the bathroom are those dead? <laughs> okay, it's dead now. <laughs> Whoo! Shoes, vest, pants, antidepressants. Uh, I'd say somebody in this situation could use those. Beta blockers. Does that have to do with blood? What was that? I swear I heard a window break. What was that? <laughs> what am I walking into? That's the that's one of the things about this game that I think could maybe use a little work. The view system is kind of neat where you can only see what your character is facing towards. But not being able to see the back side of things sometimes gets on my nerves. Uh, anything of use? Not really. A lot of aid items around here. Um, well, oh yeah, this is a medical building, so I should have really expected uh, all of these medicines and stuff to be around here, but a bat would be nice. I feel like that's not asking too much. We're in Kentucky. There should be weapons laying around everywhere. Uh, <laughs> sorry to enforce the stereotypes, but it's common. <laughs> what is that? Is that, a, is that a TV? Okay, no. Let's see. It's back out here. Getting not so nervous about everything. I had to close that door. I might have to come back here. 
and I don't want to have to deal with tons of zombies messing up all my stuff okay nothing around here this is a very cool map I have uh, spent probably an hour not actually doing anything on this game before other than just trying to find the edge of the map and I was just kinda waiting through backwoods for a long time and like a zombie would still come on me every once in a while that sounded really bad don't take that out of context uh... oh no oh no where I heard the zombie I bet it's inside it's a zombie inside the zombies probably inside okay nice we'll have to uh, deal with that as uh... Oh, open the window. I'll take it. I'll take it with my feet. I'll stomp it to death. Oh, gosh, there's two. Okay. That one just kind of hopped out of the window. And is that one gonna... Okay, yeah. I was, it's very uh, courteous of that zombie to wait for me to kill the other one to come back in the window. How thoughtful of you. I'll remember that um, when I'm reflecting on my adventures in the apocalypse. <laughs> I'll remember the one, the one zombie that had mercy. <laughs> um, really neat feature in this game that I didn't get to show you guys because I didn't want to keep all of the loading screens and everything in. The loading time for this game is understandably very long because it's um, it's a very big map. Um, but a feature in this game that you can use is customizable zombies. Everything from classic Romero style, um, you know, the walking shamblers, they just kind of follow you. There's just tons of them. Um, they never really go faster than a walking pace, though. All the way to, uh, what was that movie? Dawn of the Dead, the remake, uh, where they're all trapped in the mall. Yeah, you can uh, have those zombies. They're not fun. And you can make them smart where they track you. <laughs> or, um, what is that? What is that status? Uh, drowsy, great. The one time that I don't need to sleep, in the, or that I don't want to sleep in this game, I have to sleep. Um, I'd say whenever I do have to sleep, I'll probably just cut this video off. Uh, but we're going to make our person push through for a little bit. Because... Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, it's so dark already. Oh, no. Do we have anything? Is this game going to give me anything in the, in the way of a weapon? Oh. Oh, okay. That's exciting. Well, guys, on this note of me getting my crowbar and starting my post-apocalyptic Gordon Freeman cosplay. <laughs> I think I'm going to call this episode to an end, uh, and I'll resume it after the night, because nothing happens at night other than me cowering in fear in the corner in the dark. As always, I am Duper Nick. If you liked the video, remember to share it, leave a like, leave a comment with uh, games you want me to play. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs> oh,